Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Tasha Adams News. That's right, Bachelor Nation News. And the video nobody asked for is Tasha Adams' home tour. But I got to tell you, I already watched a couple minutes of it, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Inside Tasha Adams' glam New York City home. It's the perfect space to have my Carrie Bradshaw moment exclusive. Uh, so this is some Pulitzer Prize nominated journalism here by Aaron Clack. Uh, but it's good. It's good. I love it. We're going to count how many uh, promotional things we hear because these articles are purely PR sponsored, you know, state nation news. This is communism, baby. We're going to jam some duvets down your throat, but it's okay. Hey, if I could have my Carrie Bradshaw moment, do you think I would? Yeah. I'm more of a Samantha anyway. Never watched the show, but either way, <laughs> here it is. I'm going to play the video for you. Tasha Adams, New York City home has a fresh new look. The TV host, one time host, 32, recently collaborated with William Sonoma Home to give her Soho apartment a glam makeover. The result is a modern, feminine, is that how you spell feminine? Space that's tailor made for the former Bachelorette star's new chapter as a single lady. My apartment is a perfect space to have my Carrie Bradshaw moment. Single, having fun, living life with my girlfriends, and constantly entertaining. It just has such a good energy, Adams tells people. The former lobotomist. Or is it phlebotomist? Turned TV personality split from Zach Clark to what to whom she got engaged in our season of The Bachelorette in 2021. So we're gonna share exclusive content from her. She did a home tour. I tell you what, let's watch the home tour. As you guys might know, whenever we watch this content, in order to make sure it doesn't get flagged, we have to, you know, pause it every 20 seconds and interject our thoughts. Luckily, that's exactly what my brain likes to do anyway. So here we are in Tasha's home, which is south of Houston, aka Soho, south of Houston, not Houston. I don't know why, but it's Houston. Here it is. Let's have a watch. Hi, hey. I'm Tasha Adams. I'm Welcome Neal. to my home. Come on in. Let's go. Oh, already. Look at that. Talk about Carrie Bradshaw. She's got the stilettos that are going to get stuck. Uh, how do you wear these shoes? You're gonna. You can't walk on turf. You'll be aerating the lawn. Okay, let's keep going. So there it is. And then here we have uh, brick walls. Oh my, is Tasha Adams a power listener? She too does brick walls. Pretty much a staple there in New York City. Like my wife, she opted for a white couch. Bad idea. I'll tell you this. I went to buy a white couch. My wife and I was like, we got to get this couch. And it was at like some, you know, I don't know, some William Snow, whatever. It was at an outlet store. No returns. You But you see it, you buy it. We had to rent a truck. We got it. We're driving it back. It's all wrapped in plastic in the back of a truck. We pull over at a, uh, you know, Cadoba or something to get food. And some guy looks at me and he goes, he looks at the truck. He looks at the white couch and he goes, you don't have any kids, do you? And I go, no. And he goes, yeah, you can't have kids with a couch like that. And Come to find out, you can't even have no kids with a couch like that. You, you know, you sneeze and you stain it. Anyway, so there it is, her office. Oh, we missed it. Let's go back here and check out the office here. I know she's going to cover a lot of this, but we've got her vision board, you know, and uh, she's got all of her, I don't know, the, the folders here where you put your, uh, you know, PPP loan uh, content, purses, a nice, I mean, very, tea, she's got the perfectly staged MacBook, too many uh, Sharpies, she's got way too many, How, who needs that many, who needs a Sharpie? Bedroom. So my style is very Candle clean. holder sophisticated, but I like a little bit of edge to it. Yeah. One of the challenges that I had with my space was making it cohesive and translating all the different styles that I love into one space. And, and look, I'm making fun of these videos, but like I said, I don't blame her. She's eloquent the way she discusses all of the design work she needs. And she's, you know, good for her for able to thrive essentially doing nothing after the show. I mean, she influences and she promotes things, but it's because of this giant platform she has that she was able to get during the height of the pandemic. I mean, good for her. She made something out of nothing. And so that's why I brought in the William Sonoma design team. So the team and I talked about everything that I wanted in my home, what I wanted it to feel like from my kitchen to my bedroom, to my office, my living space. And they definitely turned. Oh, look at that kitchen. She has an espresso machine. Oh, boy, I'm jealous. This Soho apartment has to be at least $8,000 a month. Easy. No doubt about it. All of those ideas and dreams into reality. 
my chandelier is next level. Have you seen it? <laughs> it's so beautiful. It completely transforms this space. It's a 1930s Art Deco inspired chandelier, which kind of brings like that glamorous feel in my home. I absolutely love Oh, there he is. She likes to air out the toes right there at the window. I get it. I don't know who lives across from her, but they're getting, their, they're getting those Egyptian toes ready to go. I love to entertain in my space. So one thing that was essential to me is having the Beckett bar cart. It has gorgeous accents. The leather handles on it are stunning. As leather well as handles. the antique brass finish. It's definitely something that I'm proud to serve my drinks on. One of my favorite pieces in my home is actually the model. By the way, Beckett Bar Cart, only $14.95. $14.95. No, no, no. $1,495 there. I don't know if that's the one with the leather handles. You know, have you ever been pushing your bar cart and then your hands get cold? And you go, man, I wish we had leather handles on our Beckett Bar Cart. What well, I got to tell you, now you do. That's called innovation, folks. Claire Solo Chair. I love it because it's a classic club. She's got the chair as if she's on the voice. Chair, the, but it has this a is the type of chair. This is the type of chair you have if you're fighting with your boyfriend, Zach Clark, and you're like, I don't want to talk to you anymore, and then you just you know, turn around there. Modern curve to it. This is the voice. So it makes it super sophisticated, feminine, and is a wow piece. I love this Williams-Sonoma Home Ghent sofa because it has performance fabric. So in case one of my guests or myself happens to spill our cocktail when having a good time, it's a quick, easy cleanup like nothing ever happened. This is a cashmere pillow that I kind of lay. All right, the Ghent sofa, $26.95. Although, depending on the size, it might be $38.95. Which I got to tell you, if you know sofa prices, isn't isn't that bad. But still, I mean, who's got the, who's got four grand on a white couch? With this cowhide woven pillow, which I think... A cowhide woven pillow. Hey, PETA, we got to... You know, oh, here come the vegans. How dare you weave the hide of a cow? adds so much texture, warmth, and just like a little bit of flair to your space. And now for my bedroom. It's TV. How about the TV? Show us what you're working with. The bedroom. Okay. God. This space I absolutely love. I wanted to have it super clean and crisp, but then... Was that a photo of her and her mom? ...have a major focal point here, and I have this large-scale art that just really just brightens up the entire space. Having a designated office... Oh, too many pens! Who's, first of all, who needs to clamp that many papers? We've got, listen, here's what you got to do. If you're going to stage the place, make it seem realistic. Three three Sharpies. Where, what do I, look, here. This is what you do, all right? I got my thing here. I got a couple Sharpies. I got a maraca in case we want to dance. A couple roses. And then one thick Sharpie if I need to, like, circle things like I'm Trump. You know what I mean? Trump loves to circle. He's like, give me the thick Sharpie. Either way, what do you, I mean, how many... Sharpies or thick pen. I mean, I, okay, I'm done. I'm done. This in my home was so important to me. I wanted to be able to close the door, get creative, have meetings, and just get my work done. I don't, and I'm not saying I don't know what her work is, but what is the work? And by the way, whenever you stage these homes, they always say to take out the like, uh, you know, blinds or whatever. It makes it look better. But clearly nobody lives in New York City and doesn't, and has open windows like that. Do you know how many men are outside of your window at any time in New York City ready to pull meat? I mean, I'm not saying this is, it is a, it is a rough town out there. Women in this town is a book she's got there, and she's got a like I think I know a book by Obama. All right, guys. Well, this has been so much fun. It's Wasn't time it? for me to finish getting ready for an event. So, gotta go. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, look. I mean, I don't blame. I don't blame her. She probably she probably got all that content for free and maybe ten grand, and they were like, "We'll make a movie about it." I don't know. I don't blame her. But and again, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with this. But how funny is it for so many people? Like, <laughs> we literally live in the Hunger Games, where the middle class is is gone. Uh, most of our country can't afford a four hundred dollar payment, and here we are talking about woven cowhide pillows and i don't blame taisha get yours honey i don't blame her whatsoever i think it's funny you'll know i've made it one day when i'm like i'm dave neal welcome to my no hope apartment i am the you know I, I this is my jack from lost era i don't know why i chose him uh i'm i'm molder this is my molder from x-files era it's just me in a trench coat um 
so anyway, there she is. Let's see what else she has there that we can find funny from these photos. I mean, look, I love it. How clean, I mean, yeah, you can't eat takeout. You can't, th this room is not meant for Chinese food. There is no takeout. You know what you can't have in this room? You can't have balsamic vinaigrette with spinach. What is it about spinach salad that, have you ever tried to have balsamic vinaigrette and it just flicks itself off onto your, you know, whatever? And by the way, what's this? Is this some sort of wick contraption? Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. She's got a nice table back there. I don't know. It's nice. I, I'm. I, I wouldn't say I'm jealous. Maybe envious. I'm not jealous of 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 her. But oh, here it is. There it is. The leather handles. I don't know. Is it? Is it? Is it a little bondagey? She's got uh, gin, tequila. I don't know what that is. A shaker. A couple shot glasses there. And um, some wine, some rosé, some red. It would have been it would have been nice if she kind of gave her co-host a shout out there and Caitlin Bristow and put some spade and sparrow. But that's okay. Um, she do do so loves to entertain. We have not yet received an offer to join her at a party, but this is great for New York City. I mean, you you, are, you barely have any room for you know a dining area. So very nice. I think it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, we saw Hannah Brown did hers. And as you guys know, we like to have fun with these types of stories. Um, but there it is. Um, again, too many pencils. What are you, an, what are you, an architect? What do you do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I like to come here and get work done. It's just her stenciling, you know, uh, paparazzi photos. I don't get it. Either way, happy for her. And of course, she had nothing to do with the staging of this. She just showed up and read the cue cards and, um, you know, they gave her a bunch of free stuff. That's the world we live in. That's why you should work on building your social media following because maybe William Sonoma will come to your house and show off your, I don't know, yeah, you know, whatever you got going on. Maybe you'll have a Ghent sofa. I don't know why Ghent sofa just sounds like a like a like a slang. Uh, get over here and give me some love on this Ghent sofa. I don't know. Anyway, that'll be it for me. I'll be out live on Patreon right after this, and also every afternoon, Bachelor Rush Hour, of the podcast. Two black girls, one rose. Join me on today's podcast. I'll have that coming to you next. You can listen to my conversation with them, looking at looking at the upcoming charity season of the Bachelorette, and we talk about a lot of interesting stuff. So go check that out over there. Bachelor Rush Hour, link in the description below. And we'll be back right after this. <laughs>